Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be doing a Primark haul. Basically the other day I went into Primark to get a few cotton pads as usual and then came out with a 40-50 pound spend. So yeah, I basically decided to do a Primark haul today because Primark has got quite a lot of good things in at the moment. Um, you'll see when I get into my haul, but yeah. Um, I mean the other month I know that they had these loafers that looked like the Gucci ones um, which was basically a good dupe and this month there's also another really really good dupe so if you want to find that out then carry on watching this video. Okay so starting off with what's inside the big bag, first thing I got was this waterproof shower cap, it's just a simple pink polka dot one and it was £1.50. Next thing I got was some PS Oval Cosmetic Pads and there's 100 pads in here. Absolutely love these. Cheapest on, well, cheapest on the high street to be honest. I mean, even in Superdrug and Boots, they're a lot more expensive. Um, Primark, they're 90p, so yeah, these are literally what I went in Primark to get and ended up with a lot more. So yeah, but I'll always go back to Primark and get these because they're such a bargain. Next thing I got was these three pairs of 40 denier appearance tights. Now I always go to Primark for my tights, absolutely love them there. I couldn't stand going to M&S and spending six pound for like a pair or maybe two pairs, knowing that I could go to Primark and get three pairs for three pound. I mean, it's just common sense and logic. Tights always break at the end of the day and always get holes in them and ladders and it's just less annoying when um, they're a lot cheaper and easier to replace. So the next thing I got was this item of clothing. It's just some small sort of well they're not cheeky shorts they're just sort of like sporty shorts lounge around shorts maybe maybe even pajama shorts I mean it's good having these around in the house they're nice to lounge around in, especially in the summer when it's too hot and you can't really wear baggy pants so yeah I decided to pick these up because they were only £2.50 and the next thing I got was this cute little choker set I mean there's two in there so there's one thin black band and a little necklacey looking one um I've got the bigger one I wanted to try out the thinner one because they look quite cute as well and I like the whole necklace thing that pairs up with it and it was only £1.50 so I thought why not Next thing I got was this candy floss scrub from Montagna Genuse is that a French brand? I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, anyway, I absolutely love their face masks. When I saw this, um, I thought it was a candy floss face mask as well. And I got home, it was a face scrub. I was a little bit disappointed, but then after putting it on, I was absolutely amazed. I mean, I got two, so this is the other one that I haven't used. Um, in case you're wondering like why I've kept like an empty packet or something, I haven't, this is a full one. But yeah, it smells so sweet and it's so lovely. So if you love candy floss, it smells just like it and it kind of taste just like I accidentally got a little bit in my mouth probably shouldn't have admitted that <laughs> then I got some seven shoe liners these are just some ordinary black trainer socks I don't know what it is I don't know if it's just me but I cannot keep my socks together I just lose them I don't know where they go I put them in the wash basket I put them in the washing machine and they just disappeared next thing I got was the PS makeup remove cloth this removes makeup with just water just water and this was £1.50 so to me this looks a bit like a flannel towel but it's a, it's actually a little bit different I haven't tried it out yet I'm going to try it out it seems like a handy device to have when traveling I mean you might have forgotten to bring all of your micellar water and that sort of crap but if you have this you can literally just chuck some water and apparently it removes your makeup for you it seems a bit too good to be true doesn't it now okay so the next thing I got was another clothing sort of item and it's just basically this plain black t-shirt yeah it's just basically a plain black t-shirt it was four pounds and what made me buy this was that it looked like it could be a t-shirt dress so on the sh so on the rack there was a size 14 and i thought this could work as a t-shirt dress so um i went home and tried it on and it actually looks quite nice so it's something nice and lazy to wear maybe you could wear it as like a little nighty or maybe you can try and pair it up with some you know snazzy belt and it could probably make a good outfit possibly next thing i got is something from the home section it was three pounds and it is a pineapple 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 and coconut 
Um, Reed Diffuser had a sniff of it, it smelled really nice, it was decently priced, so I bought it, I guess. Next thing I got was something from the underwear section. I'm going to show you quickly because you don't really want to see my underwear, but as you can see, it's just a free pack of um, plain black thongs. But they're stretchy, I like the material, and they were only £5. I bought them before, they were really, really comfortable, so I decided to buy them again. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. This is the new sort of dupe, designer dupe that Primark have brought out. Um, as I mentioned a few months ago, it was the Gucci lookalike loafers. This month, it is the Dior lookalike reflected sunglasses. Now, I absolutely love these. I saw these in the window and I was like, oh my god, I need to go and get them because I know how expensive Dior sunglasses are. We all know how expensive they are. Finding these in Primark um, was pretty much a pretty much a relief for me because um, obviously I can get that sort of similar look for a cheaper price. These were only £4 so um, yeah if you find these go and try them on in your Primark store I guarantee you'll love them. If you don't um, then fair enough they're not everyone's cup of tea um, but I certainly do love them considering that I don't usually like wearing circular sort of sunglasses because my head's big and round and circular and it kind of emphasises that. Then I went back to the PS Beauty section and I got 36 nails of G-Civ and these are just the square midnight black ones. Not that interesting, I mean I like to buy these false nails every now and then just so I can stick them on and basically pick them off almost two hours later. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to like false nails. I've never got my nails done properly. I'm just trying to play around with these stick on glue ones from Primark and you know they do look nice but I can't do things. I can't physically do things. I can't flush the toilet. I can't pull up my pants. It's really annoying. I don't know how you girls who get your nails done do it. Please teach me your ways because I just can't can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> now another interesting purchase that I picked up was this teeth whitening pen. Teeth whitening pen. This was £2.50. Yeah so it's specially formulated to help remove stains from tooth surfaces. Easy brush on for a bright smile. Quick easy application. I did try this last night. I don't know if it worked. Um, I'm probably gonna I did take a before picture so I'm gonna try to do this every night for a week. I'm not sure if you're supposed to but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, hopefully it does something good. I mean, it was only £2.50, so it's worth a try. Um, the next thing I did get was a PS Love Your Smile Whitening, another one of their sort of whitening teeth collection. This was just their expandable dental floss. It's just a mini one. I like the whole, whole idea of this, mainly because I can take it away with me. You know, if you're going out clubbing or something, you can fit this easily in your bag, or maybe even at a festival. It's just, um, and that's something that I'm doing a lot of um, within the coming months, going to festivals and working at them. So yeah, having cute little takeaway travel accessory things like this will help me out. So this was only 60p. Okay, so the next thing I got, well I was going to say the next thing that I got, but actually the next things that I got was basically when I went to the eyelash section, uh, I couldn't quite decide what pair I wanted, so... I got all six of them. Uh, yeah, she did. She did it. She got all six. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't know if it's a bit crazy. I don't necessarily... I wouldn't necessarily pick all of them up, but I thought it might be a good idea to do maybe a try on video of all the eyelashes. I might do it. I might not. Who knows? But if it does sound like a good suggestion, then... Say yes down below in the comments and let me know. It really helped me out. Yes, because I haven't really seen a video or a blog post of anyone trying all of the eyelashes on. I know everyone's trying out the hair tools and they've tried doing makeup looks and stuff, but maybe just, you know, simple all of the eyelashes on, see how that goes. So yeah, basically, if you didn't know about the whole collection, um, there's Define, Natural, Sultry, Dramatic, which is really dramatic, intense, and full look. Now I'm wearing full look today, absolutely love them. They are my favourite from the whole collection. I would say Define was, um, but then I tried full look and I'm not going back. But to be honest, these eyelashes are actually really, really, really good. I wasn't too sure because the first ones that I tried were sultry. A lot of people liked them, but they didn't necessarily suit my eye shape. They're only a pound each, glue comes with it, 
and it actually works half decently. I mean, it dries clear and yeah, they're just easy to apply and they actually last quite long. I mean, you can't, these are not the sort of eyelashes that you take off and then put back in the box and wear again the day later. I mean, maybe you could if you looked after them that well, but they're kind of designed, you know, quite cheaply. Um, but they're good enough that you can wear them and they do look nice. Uh, so yeah, I got all six eyes. Then something else that's really interesting is the silicone sponges. Now there's two, two of them in this pack. They're two pounds, so it's basically one pound each. Next thing I got is also beauty related, of course. Um, yeah, so I got the PS Lipstick Organizer. This is one pound 50. I've already got one of these, but it was in like a different shape and it was from Tiger. Yeah, I basically decided to grab another one of these, maybe put not my MAC lipsticks in, but a different brand of lipsticks in here. Okay, last but not least, quite boring thing to end on. Um, if you're still watching, thank you for watching and bearing with me. I might sound a bit miserable and stuff. It's not that, it's just, I'm just a bit stressed out at the moment. I mean, I had my first exam today. Um, at the same time, I also really, really want to do YouTube and blog a lot more. Um, but I'm in this vicious cycle of being constantly busy and having no time. Um, so yeah, it might be why I'm a bit tense and yeah, hopefully you guys can bet with it. But <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, so the last product that I got was PS2 pack, two fresh holders, and these are one pound. So you get two of these. I just think they're great to have instead of like just chucking your toothbrush into your bag if you're going around a mate's house to sleep over, or if you're going to festival, or if you're going on holiday essentially. These are just great thing to have. It's a lot more hygienic and you get two for 50p each basically so why the hell not anyway so i'm going to wrap this video up here if you did enjoy this video then please don't forget to like subscribe comment if you didn't like this video then please don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> i'm joking yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye